Welcome, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to solve this problem of an object sliding down this ramp under the force of a push force and under the action of a friction force. So here's the uh, description of the problem. A 25 kilograms crate initially at rest at the top of this ramp is sliding down this five meters long ramp 32 degree angle inclination while there's a force F push that it's 90 newtons in magnitude pushing up the ramp. This is trying to prevent the ramp to fall too fast. Uh, consider that the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.1. We would like to find what's the work done by the forces acting on the crate, what's the final kinetic energy of the crate at the end of the ramp and what's the final velocity of the crate at the end of the ramp. So we're going to be using the work kinetic energy theorem to solve this particular problem. So uh, I usually share with you uh, the basic steps that we're going to follow to solve this problem or any problem in general. And the first step is always read the problem carefully, pay attention to the details draw a diagram that will be useful, helpful to visualize what's going on in this problem, write down all the information you have, sometimes it's in the description, sometimes it's not there, so you need to figure that. Choose the equations that you're going to be using to solve the problem, and then solve for the unknowns, try to find um, the unknowns. Last thing is to check the answers verify that your answers make sense the values the units and everything so you can not skip that step because sometimes we make mistakes in the process we need to verify what we did now in this particular example uh, here's the diagram that i um, selected for for you uh, it's the same that the, the diagram uh, shows the uh, the ramp the crate here but I put the forces that are on the crate now the first force that I always put it's the gravitational force FG pointing vertical down the next force is the force or normal force that's the force that the, the ramp is doing on the crate and it's perpendicular to the ramp the F push or uh, the force that it's uh, acting and also the kinetic friction force now because this box it's gonna slide down the ramp friction force will be pointing up the ramp so that's an important thing uh, these are the values that we extracted from the description and we're gonna be using the network equals the change of the kinetic energy this equation will be the main equation that we're going to be using for this particular problem. Okay, so we're going to start with the work of uh, the forces acting on this uh, object. And once we have the network, we're going to use that to calculate the kinetic energy and the final velocity. So to find the network, we need to find the work done by each individual force. In this case, the force of gravity, the push force, the normal force, and the kinetic friction force. You notice here that I listed all the uh, work done by all the forces. Even if at the beginning I know one of these will be zero, but uh, it's important to label everything to list all the forces to make sure that we're not missing anything. All right, so once you have the starting point, next thing is to work for the work uh, done by the gravitational force. We're gonna be using the expression minus mg delta y. mg is the gravitational force, delta y it's the vertical displacement. So in this case, minus mg, but delta y it's nothing else but delta x sign of the angle of the ramp so replacing the values minus 25 kilograms uh, 9.81 meters per second square minus 5 meters delta x is negative in this case because the object is going down the ramp 
and sine of 32, that's the angle of the wrap. This gives us a work done by the gravitational force to be equal to 650 joules positive. Anytime the object goes down in a vertical direction, the work done by gravity will be positive. Next thing is to calculate the work done by the push force. In this case, the uh, work, we're going to use the definition of work, force times displacement times the cosine of the angle. Now the push force points up 90 newtons, the displacement 5 meters points down. So we're using the magnitude of these two here and then here we put the angle between them. Now the angle is 180, they are anti-parallel. So that makes this cosine of 180 equals to minus one. So the work done by the push force is negative 450 joules. Now for the normal force, first we need to calculate the value for the normal force because we're gonna be using that force for the calculation of the friction force. So in this case, the normal force equals to mg cosine of the angle. This is the y component of the um, gravitational force. I'm not showing this in this video, but you can find the uh, explanation of how to get this normal force from my other videos about Newton's second law on a ramp. Now, in this case, the normal force equals 208 Newtons. Now, the work done by normal force will be the normal force times the displacement times the cosine of the angle. But the normal force and the displacement make an angle of 90 degree and cosine of 90 equals zero. So the work done by the normal force is zero. Something that we already knew from the beginning, but I want to show you how this is calculated. Uh, last thing in this part is that the friction force it's by definition the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force 0.1 times 208 newtons so the friction coefficient i'm sorry the friction force it's 20.8 newtons with that value we know that this friction force is constant with that value we can calculate what's the work done by this force uh friction uh, delta x and the cosine of 180. Again, these two vectors are anti-parallel. So that will make this negative 20.8 for the value for the friction force, 5 meters for the displacement equals negative 104 joules for the work done by friction. Having all these, we calculated all four, we can do just that simple addition of all the work done by these forces and we get the net work done by these forces, 96 joules total. Now that we have the uh, net work done on the crate, we can find what's the final kinetic energy. Look, the net work uh, equals the change of the kinetic energy, uh, which is the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. But the block or the crate was not moving at the beginning of this, so the initial kinetic energy was zero, so the final kinetic energy ended up being equal to the net work done, which is 96 joules. By definition, the kinetic energy, one half mass times the square of the velocity, so solving for the velocity final, we can get the, the value for the final velocity 2.77 meters per second. And we answer all the questions that, be, that uh, we had at the beginning of this problem. Okay, now it's your turn. I'm gonna give you the chance to solve another problem that will be very easy because it's similar to the problem I just showed you, but I want you to take advantage of these and practice. So let me show you the problem. We have a crate uh, that it's at rest at the top of this uh, 
ramp and it's going to slide down the ramp and uh, the values are slightly different than the previous values but you can see that it's the same problem uh, i just put the diagram here including the forces that are acting on this crate and the questions of course find the work done by each individual force uh, find the kinetic energy at the end of the ramp and find the final velocity at the end of the ramp pretty much the same problem different values so i would like you to take your time and practice what i just showed you so stop the video uh, try to solve the problem using a uh, minimal amount of your notes if you can do this without notes it's much better if you need to use your notes okay that is fine too but the idea is that you need to solve the problem first i'm going to show you the answers next but i would like you to do the to take the effort put the effort on this problem solve the problem and then compare your answers with my answers that is the way you're gonna learn how to do this problem or any problem that looks similar to this one. Solutions next. Okay, I hope that you stop the video and work this problem before trying to pick on these uh, answers. But here are the answers for all the questions. Uh, work done by the uh, force of gravity, 510 joules remember i'm not explaining all this because you already know how to do this i'm just showing you so that you can find the uh, compare your answers work done by the push force negative 380 joules the normal force is 221 newtons and the work done by normal force in this case as in the previous case zero work done by um the friction force, we need the friction force 22.1 newtons for that value. And then the work done by this friction force negative 88.4 joules. The net work adding all the values that we obtain 41.6 joules. And last, the kinetic energy final for that object because the kinetic energy is zero. 41.6 equals to the net work done on the crate and uh, the final velocity at the end of the ramp will be equal to 1.79 meters per second i hope that you compare and you did all the math and uh, if you compare your values with my values and something is not quite the same go back check your math verify that nothing was missing or what was missing actually so if something is not the same it means that something is missing something was wrong verify that it maybe sometimes in the uh, paper is the same thing but when you apply this on the calculator something happened so check everything to make sure that you get the right answers I have just one more thing to share with you today. If you like my explanation, you're gonna love this ebook that I wrote for you. It's called How to Get Better Grades in Physics Using Less Study Time. The best thing about this ebook, it's free. All you have to do is go and visit my website, physicssensei.com, and download that ebook free today. You're gonna find other ebooks there, but of course, I encourage you to start with this one this is the best it has a lot of different techniques that you can use to minimize the amount of time you spend studying physics but at the same time it will help you to maximize your results so you get much better grades than you're getting right now don't forget of course to like this video subscribe to my channel and share that with your social media and i'll see you in my next video bye bye